Indianapolis suburbs say they're dealing with coyotes this time of year. And they're catching them on camera. Wildlife experts say videos like this one are showing just how active the animals are right now. Fox 59's Zach Meyer shows us this afternoon how to keep them away from our homes. Well, at this time of the year, DNR officials tell me that if you live in the suburbs, it's a good bet that a coyote has been up and down your street. It was a little terrifying because I know they can scale a four-foot fence. Johnson County homeowner Betty Strom got quite a surprise when her phone pinged around 2 a.m. last Tuesday. I looked at my camera and I thought, Oh my gosh, that's a coyote. I couldn't believe he came up this close. In recent weeks, other homeowners have shared videos of coyotes sniffing around their yards and patios, and not just overnight. Craig Harold took this photo last Sunday afternoon. I heard some coyotes howling. Um, I don't know if there was just if it was just one of them or multiple, but it almost made me wonder if you know they haven't created a den or something like that close to us. Wildlife biologist Aaron Bassiger says most people don't realize how close coyotes live to neighborhoods like this, and right now is a very active time for the animals. You've got juveniles who are leaving their adults and looking for new homes. Um, you've also got the adults getting ready to breed. They love to hunt mice, rabbits, squirrels, and other small animals. And while coyotes will sometimes go after small pets, experts say it's much more likely that the smell of trash or rotting meat would attract one to a subdivision. So you shouldn't leave your trash out overnight. Make sure your grill is thoroughly cleaned and don't leave pet food outside. If you have bird feeders, you might think about bringing the bird feeders in. The coyotes can be attracted to the rodents that come in and eat the seed. If you see a coyote, Bassiger says you should yell, clap, or do anything to make loud noise. And all that does is scare them and help reinforce that they don't want to be near humans. DNR has more information on how to avoid attracting coyotes to your neighborhood. You'll find that linked up at this story on our website. Reporting in Greenwood, Zach Myers, Fox 59 News. Zach.